Dear Secretary Beltran, Assistant Deputy Minister De Rosier, Dr. Mario Molina, Alan, Herman, colleagues, distinguished guests, and all the enthusiastic participants and involved parties of Mission Innovation. I am so thrilled for the launch of the workshop report on the Materials Acceleration Platform of the Clean Energy Materials Innovation Challenge. The planning of the workshop was rather intense, and between looming travel restrictions and last-minute emergency cancellations, I think there were times of doubt of whether we would be able to pull it off. However, thanks to the amazing people behind Mission Innovation, Herman, Maureen, Alan, Carlos Ortiz, Carlos Amador, Matt and his team, you guys made it all work. We modeled the format of the workshop after the US Department of Energy basic research needs, which provide a guide to future directions to advance science and technology. And indeed, the Department of Energy worked really closely with the IC6 team to adapt and incorporate the BRN methodology to our global format. I have to say, though, that the execution of the workshop was one of the most dynamic and rewarding experiences that I have ever had of a workshop of this kind. And who knows where the magic came from. Maybe it was exactly the right participants who came from all over the world with energy, enthusiasm, knowledge, and commitment. Or maybe it was just the Mexican spirit. In the months following the workshop, we pulled together the report, soliciting feedback and input from all participants. And with the talented and devoted help of Daniel Tabor, the energetics team, CIFAR, and the larger team effort, we now have a report that I am very proud to be part of. Mission Innovation Challenge 6 calls out the need for accelerated materials discovery for high-performing, novel, functional materials because materials underlie every innovation in sustainable energy. And we will simply not make enough progress in areas such as energy storage, wind, solar, hydrogen, waste heat recovery, and fuels without new and highly optimized materials. Our report identifies the current bottlenecks and research needs that can help us design and make those materials much faster and better. And time is of the essence, as our planet is experiencing the real effects of air pollution and climate change. I so wish I could have been there with you in person, but this will have to do. Thank you all so much, and congratulations to Mexico and the US for leading this innovation challenge and for helping us shape our future society of sustainable energy.